Hello and a welcome! My name is Ajax Post and this is Transport Fever, the One Hub Let's Play Speed Build series. And um, I think that's the only train at the moment. Oh no, there's another one. The electric has turned up. Should we watch the electric? Yes. Is it about to depart? As you can see, um, on my main hub, my main hub station uh, is very busy. Loads of people waiting, and uh, in the nearby uh, food hub, uh, loads of food waiting to be delivered as well. Uh, which leads me on to what I want to do today. Now, I had mentioned in previous videos um, that I've got quite a um, extravagant a quite large scale plan in mind, particularly for dealing with freight. I might also do this similar thing for passengers, but that is a way in the future, I think, for now. Um, but before we go into that, I just want to make another little fix again to the cargo system. Um, we'll do that in the speed build section of the video. But in the meantime, uh, I just want to do a quick couple of changes to the um, to the passenger trains because I've let them run on for several years now uh, and they're all getting a little bit too busy. Right, I'm just going to pause here for a second uh, while we um, while I just sort of uh, go through some of the basics of where we are since the last time because I've cheated, it's not really cheating is it, a little bit. Uh, I've actually rolled on in case you were looking very closely at the date uh, in the bottom left, uh, bottom right corner, can't tell me left from the right, uh, bottom right corner, uh, I've actually rolled on a whole year um, since the last episode, uh, mostly because I wanted to get my loan down to as small as possible, and in fact, in that last year, I paid off the entire loan altogether. I think when you were when you were with me last, I'd taken it down to around seven million, six and a half million, something like that. And uh, without doing very much at all, I think I replaced a few buses, and that was about it. Uh, in the last year, I actually paid off the entirety of that loan. Uh, what, in fact, you can see here what I spent last year. Uh, yeah, that was 1930. New vehicles. Oh, 2.8. I must have bought a new train somewhere on the line. <laughs> Oops. Is this me um, lying to you? That's, that's not on, is it? Oh, I bought two. Tr oh, I bought. Oh, yeah. I, oh, dear. Yes. No, I think I upgraded some trains. That's right. Because I was getting concerned that the cargo hub here um, was getting too full. And unless it was start, unless I could keep it delivering large quantities out to the destination cities, um, this would start causing problems. This would become too full. Um, the the farm would then stop producing, and I'd start losing money uh, on some of my key routes. Um, it would all pick up again in the future. It'll sort of rebalance itself out again. But I I don't like losing money for any period of time. <laughs> Okay, so where we are, so I've paid off my loan, which is really good, so I do have the money now to do my extravagant plan, um, but I'm actually going to do something a little bit different, which is also fun, I think, um, because I was tinkering around with a few ideas, um, sort of playing on a few different scenario type things, and thinking, what would be a good thing to do? And then I happened across this one idea, which, look, which looked and worked rather nicely. So we'll do that today. But the first thing I want to do is just check in on some of these passenger lines. We've not been paying much attention, as I said, to passengers for the last few years. Uh, as you can see, we've got loads of passengers waiting for trains here. There's a couple of lines in particular. I think Mitchell Butte and Sentinel Mesa, and possibly actually all of them. I think well, let's, let's do all of them, shall we? Uh, where are we going? So I think they've all got the same... Uh, no, Sentinel, Sentinel Misa uh, was a, a later service. And that one's all the way over here, if you recall. That's it. So that's that's the most distant of those three, anyway. Uh, so that's taken a little while to pick up, but it certainly has grown. And in fact, waiting at Sentinel Misa, there's another 72 passengers. Uh, where's the train? Are you leaving? You are indeed leaving. So that left full at 64. What we could do on that one is probably just increase that complement to five wagons, I think. Uh, is that going to be good enough? In fact, do we have uh, different wagons to, to, uh, to put on here? So presumably, uh, let's just check. There's passenger wagons. Um, 
That is the cholesterol still, which is just 16. Four 16s, that is, the, that is 64, isn't it? So could we actually put one of these two on? The six after that takes 18, that's two more. It goes faster as well. In fact, how fast is... Is the, uh, the it's all run, they're all running the Atlantic? Yes, indeed. Uh, Fifty. Ah, yeah. The Atlantic itself, I think, can go faster than that. Yeah. So we're losing speed. We're not making the best use. So if we put the larger wagon on there, this six-axle passenger one. Yeah, 112 miles an hour. That's far too fast. <laughs> no. Um, if we put this wagon on, it's closer to the maximum speed of the locomotive, although it's heavier, so the loco won't actually reach that speed necessarily uh, until quite some way into its journey. Um, because the maximum theoretical speed is that much higher, that will mean the ticket price goes up considerably from 50 miles an hour to 62 miles an hour, which is the maximum speed of the loco. Uh, it's, it's a theoretical maximum speed uh, that, that creates the ticket price, which is what the passengers pay, not the actual speed or average speed or anything like that that the locomotive, or the train rather, actually achieved on the route. So yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We will replace uh, this, in fact, we'll do it on all of them. So we will stick, so that was, so this is 18, that's 36. That's a bit more than that, and that's more than that again. So that, actually four on that? What's four eights? So is it 32? 14, 72. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do, I think, on, on that run, I think. Uh, so we can then replace all of them. Ooh, I need a bit more of a loan. Yeah, because I'm not going to do my big extravagant um, spending on this episode, I think we should be okay to get away with spending this on the trains, on these trains. Uh, so, yeah. We'll have you replaced. That's cool. In fact, we can, yeah, we can we'll keep you in view. Uh, that's the Sentinel, Misa, Sentinel Misa line. Uh, and this one here, I think we'll do the same thing on all of them. Yeah, we'll replace these wagons. So that was five. That's five of the... Uh, I need to click that button. And that takes me there. Uh, wagons. That's that one. One, two, three, four, five. That's good. And that will cost me... Ooh, seven million. I, I am... <laughs> Is this a good plan? I'm not sure, I'm not entirely convinced anymore now that it is <laughs> spending all this money on replacing trains which don't actually need replacing. Um, but uh, there you are. Let's do it anyway. Because I'm feeling, I'm going to use that word again, extravagant. I'm sorry, but I am. So that's you, and uh, we'll do the same thing here for the Mitchell Mitchell Butte line. So you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and you will take oh, just five. You're just a bit cheap, but I need that still. Okay, so you're all being replaced, and I now have again a 13 million <laughs> debt. I, I entered this episode saying. I've got my debt down to zero, so I can do now big and, big and extravagant things. And the first thing I do, of course, is just build the debt back up again. Ugh. That's, the, that's modern business for you, isn't it? Right, we'll just watch this train go in. We probably don't need to watch it switch over. But uh, we will anyway. Speed him up a little bit. I want to get to the main thrust of this episode. This is too much of me talking already. It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be this much of me talking. It should be more about the building, the speed build. There you are, sir. Pulled into station. So you're currently carrying 80 passengers. 
using the Calestris. And that now goes up to 90. That's excellent. And the ticket price will go up again very soon. Um, ooh, once this one has changed over as well. Just speed him up a little bit. Get him into the station. How many other people waiting? 124. That's okay. That, that should be fine. But once you're done... What's this random clicking I'm doing? I really shouldn't. And the vehicle price will go up from 230 to 269 per passenger. So that should be a nice... Look at that, I've already recouped six million. Just keep putting this down as we do. Okay, right, so I'm going to get on now with the uh, with another fix for the cargo system. Oh heck, that that is there's too much cargo cargo there. Uh, I'm gonna add another cargo route into the system, which uh, should be fun, and then next episode, honest, I will have a crack. Uh, doing the big extravagant new cargo system that I have planned. Um, yeah, the the this the one I'm adding in new uh, should be okay. Uh, that shouldn't be too much affected by what I'm planning to do um, in the uh, in this episode. Anyway, yes, I'll, I'll stop waffling now. <laughs> Get on with the the meat of the episode. Uh, so, yes, thank you very much for, for joining me today. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the episode, the speed build section. If you do, please leave us a like in the, uh, just click that thumbs up button thing, you know, you know how it works. Um, any ideas, thoughts, suggestions, criticisms even, recommendations, anything you want to say, drop a note into the comments box below. It'd be great to hear from you. And of course, if you've not done so already, please do subscribe to the channel. And uh, that way you'll know whenever I upload one of these or any of my other Let's Play videos. But for now, from me, Ajax Post here in Transport Fever, I will sign off and hand over to the soundtrack speed build section. And I'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now. <laughs>